curtains up. I'd start running if I were you.
minutes before dawn. I will commend your soul to the gods. Darkness before dawn. Prayer for your wayward soul.
choke on this. Darkness before dawn. Or dawn. The other day. Korra told me you were planning to overthrow the Sanctorium Elders. Is that true? Hmm. Nothing as dramatic as that. My aim is to reform the Sanctorium, not burn it down and rebuild it. Me and Alpharius have already garnered support from several people in the Sanctorium's ranks. Once we have the support of the people, the Elders won't be able to deny me a seat in the Council. The support of the... people? Wait, is that why you're making those speeches sometimes? That's what Jagholm was supposed to be? Yes. And now, Tyr Kalum, too. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice! The people need to know that someone is fighting for their salvation. That there is someone they can trust at the Sanctorium. A few villages saved, and the rumor will quickly spread. Selim will find a cure to the corrosion and become a heroic figure to the people. A savior, a saint! This... This is completely nuts. Once her status is recognized by the relevant authorities, she will reach the highest rank in the Sanctorium, and will use it to set things right. Why go to all this trouble to reform the Sanctorium? Why now? Can't it wait until the war is over? It can't wait much longer. Because magic is slowly disappearing. Okay, I should stop asking questions. Then I'll take the bait myself. Why and how is magic disappearing? Crystals are the homes of the gods. They sustain their existence. To support the war effort, the Sanctorium has been depleting the crystal mines for decades. But that is not all. The war against the Archolites itself has caused a major wound into Harrian's magic. The Consort's continuous invocations to repel the invaders are slowly draining all magic from the planet. How can you possibly know that magic is vanishing? Did the gods tell you that too? They didn't tell me. I can feel it. I suspect many other magic users can feel it too, but are too afraid to speak up. And you just keep piling on information. This is why I must talk to the gods, restore the connection I lost. It's been years since their last message, and now, Oberos claims to be the last of their servants? There are too many unknowns. I'm not sure about any of this. They can't and they won't. 
Gods are a benevolent force. They will always try to help us, no matter the cost. They wouldn't have sent me if there was any other way. That's, uh, rather convenient, huh? Could a mother deny a crying baby her bosom? Impossible! It's the same relationship between the gods and the humans. The gods cannot deny us their magic. You have quite a way with words, Alfarius. Magic, like everything else on this earth, is a finite resource. Keeping it alive is the gods' eternal struggle. It's not common knowledge, but there have been many, many demonstrations of this fact throughout history. Just like the ebb of the tide, the rhythm of the moons, the sun, it comes and goes. Gods sometimes enter stages of lethargy, and magic slumbers with them. Theories and lines from old books, Alfarius. Remember the Raslan Comet? That old legend? It was more than a millennium ago. It's no more than a bedtime story for children. I mean, a gigantic comet stopped dead in its tracks by a divine, mysterious power before it could crash down on Harrion? Who would actually believe that? Uh, at least the story seems consistent. Even that Oberos fellow mentioned Selene's lost connection to the gods. Okay, now Oberos is going to corroborate Selene's story. What am I supposed to make of that? We could just accept it as fact. Is that all of this is true? Is that it? Good grief. I... How the hell am I supposed to deal with this? The whole time you were playing a high-stakes game right under my nose. And all along, I'm just... The sucker who wants to save his mom and protect his sister. It doesn't change anything, Darian. I need you at my side more than ever. And we are still doing this to save Mom. It just so happens that the fate of the world also hangs in the balance. This is crazy. Yes, this is crazy! It's got all the ingredients. A desperate bid to save the world and take over the Centurion too. It's completely megalomaniac, with just a zest of lost cause. Truly wonderful. And here I thought we were just looking for a boring old cure. Oh, now that's... that's great. That's really great. Do you realize how much this whole plan hangs on you, Isaurus? I do, and I stand by what I've told you. We will find the silver-haired girl. And you guys? I still don't care, by the way. I'm already wanted by most of the authorities in Harrion. Even if this Vaughn or any other fanatic from the Sanctorium tries to stop you from attaining your goal, it simply means more fighting. And I'm down with that. And I have no choice. Okay, I'm glad we're finally done with the drama. Now, can we at least push on to the final stretch of our journey? Thea, do you... Uh, what you said you'd do... The sum up, you mean? Yes. I will be able to summarize in words that even a five-year-old can understand. Make it for a five-year-old who thinks his sister's crazy. I'm glad somebody's enjoying all this.
lady. I will prepare the symbiosis. You and your ragtag bunch of misfits should use this precious time to explore the surroundings. A question first. What do you know about doppelgangers? Do you mean that Oberos fellow? I've never met such a powerful being in my life. He was even stronger than the man he stole his shape from. He was even stronger than me when he assumed mine. Now, Selene, if all that you say is true, this really is a doppelganger. We may have another problem in our hands. Doppelgangers are by essence duplicitous creatures, but they are also supposed to be divine messengers. In the old legends, they were sent by the gods to visit a chosen one and bequeath them with power and a mission. He told me he came down here because I failed my own. Hmm. What can I say? If this is true, we're neck deep in Wamash, Selim. Mm. But then again, we're here to get our answers from the gods themselves. Let's not despair just yet. So, scram along with the other kids while I prepare everything. What now? A little comic strip? Hope it's funny. In Harrian's darkest hour, a divine envoy, a herald appointed by the few remaining divines, will descend into the world to visit the Chosen. They will wear the same face. They will speak with the same voice. The Chosen will recognize their other half, shaped as their perfect reflection. Upon their epiphany, the Chosen will understand the true nature of their mission. What's this story about a Chosen One? Is this Harold Oberos? Wear the same face. Perfect reflection. Ah, well, it seems like your Vanitas friends here are pretty much corroborating Oberos' claims. The last of the gods' servants, was it? Sil told me Oberos was dead set on finding Korra. Can we conclude that Korra is supposed to be the Chosen One? Damn, this is getting bigger by the minute. And I still don't even think we're starting to see the big picture. The prophecy doesn't end there. It starts diverging into multiple branches. Upon failure, Harian will bleed out its one too many wounds. Both the gods and mankind will wither into oblivion. Upon acceptance, the Chosen One and the Herald will become one and the world will be saved. Upon rejection, the Herald will decay into a demon and set fire to the world before destroying itself. That seems completely rational. What does that mean? What's going to happen? I don't know. So, Oberos being the god's grunt is pretty much confirmed then? You guys don't look too fresh about that. And you seem like you don't even care. Meh, I don't believe in gods. Where's magic coming from then? Dunno. Can't use it anyway. And wouldn't care less if I did. We're talking about the fate of Harry in here. Look at you guys, shaking in your boots because some guy freewheeled his chisel on a stone mural a few centuries ago. There are too many coincidences to simply dismiss it. Hey, I'm just saying. In any case, God's Herald or whatever, it will make a fine trophy for my collection. Click, click, hallelujah, and kaboom. Sometimes even I can't understand what you're saying. Fallon Hildegard, Sky Pirate Extraordinaire, Dilettante, Philanthropist, and God Slayer. How grand does that sound? And this... <sighs> It's, uh, what, ah, uh, what is this? 
I don't know. My heart is racing for some reason. Where did... Have I seen this before? I don't know why, but this is somehow painful to look at. You feel it too, Yosaurus? Sadness. Madness. Chaos. As if the worst is yet to come. Yes, that's exactly it. Huh. Uh, can you read? I can't read it. It's like the characters wriggle out of my sight every time I try to grasp them. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This is really pretty. I concur. If anything, this engraving has a comforting, homely feel. Take a snapshot, Thea. We'll probably fetch a good price for this. Felon! Oh, can't even joke around here. Maybe it's some kind of ancient magic they weaved into the carving. We should. I think we should go, and see if Alfarius has finished his preparations. I agree. This fairy tale has a somewhat bad ending. No need to translate this one. It's Oberos's tower with fire raining upon the land. Just like he promised you back in the scrapyard, huh? Can you translate this, Selene? The Venatis have built this tower in order to prevent the worst from happening. Upon betrayal, the Herald will seize the God Machine and command it to cleanse Harrion. And. A save it from impending doom? Definitely not good. Only a select few will survive this ordeal. A millennium of dreams will pass for them. On their awakening, they will be free. And life on Harrion will flourish. Again. So, the Vanitas had prepared a tower so that Oberos could destroy everyone in Harrion. Save for a select few. Oberos conducted human sacrifices to power his machine. It's just the same everywhere. What do you mean? That we have to stop this. We agree on that. A question here. As I understand it, the Vanishes built this tower to prevent the worst from happening. What if by mistake, we allow the world to end because we prevent Oberos from carrying out his plans? What could be worse than the extinction of all life on Harrion? Of all life, except the lucky few. Chosen by Oberos? I don't know. Impending doom sounds quite ominous. Maybe it's the corrosion. Destroying everyone on Harrion to preserve a few people is not the way. I agree. We are not going to let everyone die because some madman has decided to purify the world. And if this all-consuming blight is the corrosion, we still have to find its cure. No objection there. What's this? Answers. Or more questions. Can you make sense of any of them? To some extent, I can read the writing itself, but inevitably lose the meaning behind it. So, what do we have here? Prophecies. Venati writings often follow diverging lines, paths. Rather than describe a unique truth, they recount all possible outcomes, as if the future was always in movement. I call them prophecies, then. Those are more like speculations, right? There is always a component of certainty in their foretelling. No matter how the story diverges, there is always a foundational event at its origin. A foundational event that triggers waves of possibilities. But the rest is cryptic. Vague. This thing... it looks like a... It's the Raslin Comet. The gigantic meteor that threatened to destroy Junor a millennium and a half ago. It could be just some kind of fairy tale. Well, the meteor exists, actually. I went to Junor once, when I could still afford it. The meteor is still there, all right. In all its glorious stillness. I've seen it with my own two sober eyes. They even put a little mausoleum there, so that pilgrims can waste money. Every civilization around the world reported sightings of the comet. Then the gods went dormant for several centuries. 
People didn't use magic again until the Cyrus era. It seems that the Venatis predicted the arrival of the meteor, and that the gods would have prevented the destruction of Harrion. It's not the only documented occurrence of godly intervention. Throughout the ages, there have been countless floods, eruptions, and earthquakes that were miraculously prevented. The gods have always protected us. But not this time, apparently. What do you know? Maybe I'm the miracle they sent. Joking about this already? Let's see what else there is. The symbiosis is ready. You probably have a lot of questions, but you will have to address them to the gods themselves. Okay. <sighs> Don't forget to leave. From now on, you're on your own. I'll be okay. What's going to happen? Symbiosis. This lotus flower. This new- The Nalumbo Nucifera that Alpharius has grown here is naturally attuned to the Cathedral's strong magical current. When I commune with it, I will enter a trance state in which our life forces will intertwine. Now, it's been a long time since I've practiced magic, but I remember that delving into the deepest magical layers is... somewhat dangerous. It is dangerous. And incredibly painful. Painful? There's a limit to the amount of magic a body can withstand. I've trained myself to endure it. So, I'll get to it and start my meditation. You will lead now, Selina. Wait, shouldn't we just stay around in case she needs something? No, she doesn't. Even the tiniest disturbance could have disastrous consequences. She needs total privacy. Privacy, huh? Got it. Let's go, guys. The sooner we're done with this magical nonsense, the better. I'm getting bored of this place already. Look at you two guys' faces. Are you worried about me? Of course I'm worried, so you're going to places where I can't help you. Where no one can help me. Come, Darian. All we can do is trust her. Easy for you to say she's not your sister. Yeah, of course it's easy for me to say. It's not like I'm a human being or anything who might get emotionally attached to the nicest people he's ever met in his whole sort of life or anything. It's... you know what I mean. Come on, Worry Ward, she'll be fine. Don't make me lie now, Selene. Oh, I know how uncomfortable you are with that. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See you soon. Thank you. 
Another one of those golems. Oberos is trying to disrupt the ritual! The hell with this ritual! We have a situation here! I say we grab Selene and bring her here! No! Don't even think about it. A breach of concentration could be fatal. We must stand our ground until she finishes the ritual. That's up to us. Warming up. Gun loaded. Let's go! Follow my lead and we'll get through this!
choke on this. Whish. on this. on this.
Out of the way. on this. Cannot withstand more punishment.
A strange twist of fate that we should be in these cherished child. For we wish for nothing but the same outcome. The survival of the gods. I know what you are! But by abandoning yourself to this vile ritual devised by your heathen master, you have become an accomplice in the same crime that you did. Lies! Just look at yourself. Don't you wonder where this incredible power is coming from? Magic is the soul of the gods themselves. Without any regard for the divine, you filled yourself to the brim. Lies! I didn't take it! They gave me this power! You pillaged their life force. And for what? To raise arms against me? Their last servant? You are the perfect avatar for the Sanctorium. In your rebellion, you have become their most potent pawn. Lies upon lies! You'll soon discover how right I am. But don't worry. You still have a chance to redeem yourself for your crimes and vanity. Stand by my side. And bring me the dead body of your dear brother. No! I will never betray my family, nor will I betray the gods! If you seek the reason that the gods changed their mind and have sent me to accomplish their mission instead, look no further. Your blind refusal to sacrifice anything or commit to anything, while you constantly compromise your integrity. What do you know about my sacrifices? How would you know what I have endured. You know nothing, and you will return to nothing. I swear it, Oberus! You flatter yourself again, thinking you're a threat to me, child. I can read you like an open book, and your weakness is now in my hands. You have no power over the fate of Harry. state of shock. Leave her a few moments and she'll leave. Selene? Selene! What was that? The aspect of Krator. A name given to severe cases of magical delirium. Selene got a bit careless and went on a binge of magical energy. As a result, she jeopardized her sanity as well as her ability to use magic. Don't worry, Master. I was in control the whole time. It just took some time to get used to. Are you... okay now? I am. Sorry for worrying you guys. So? Did you hear your... voices? Hear... the gods? Yes. I think so. A faint whisper. Coming from far away. And what did they tell you? They told me. They told me I was on the right path. Did they tell you anything else? About Oberos? About the cure? About anything? No. So much for getting answers. Well, this little hike didn't bring us anything we wanted. But seeing the kind of power he can harness now, I wouldn't say it was completely useless, was it? I must not waste it. It was bequeathed to me so that I can face Oberos on equal terms. And I was hoping you'd have enough to make the rest of our quest a breeze. My life is full of disappointments. He said that your weakness is now in his hands. Not Harold or not, if he did what I think he did, he's dead. Yes.
You copy? Yes. Tower's in sight. Are you sure the Seed of Destruction is inside? We've been over this already. The only other lead was that no-name deserter you wasted a week on because you had a hunch that the Seed of Destruction might be in his chest. Must I remind you why I have been picked for this mission? Yes, we all know of your gift. Believe it or not, magic and psychic abilities don't make it easier for us to justify our operations to the Defense Committee. Maybe you can tell me something I don't know. Never mind. In any case, the Seed of Destruction must be in this tower. If our calculations are correct, it is something to do with the massive energy readings coming out of the place. Your job is to secure the Seed of Destruction and, by any means necessary, shut down whatever operation is going on in there. What kind of operation? Some of our analysts have suggested that this tower is an antique anti-air defense system. Are they trying to reproduce the Ascendants? On a much larger scale, yes. It could pose a threat to us. Uh, you have a short memory, Lawson. Those same analysts told you a month ago that the Ascendants couldn't possibly go higher than a mesosphere. Regardless, Laura, we have a problem on our hands. This intel fell into Colonel Gregor's hands. And he made more than his case in front of the committee. Got them riled up. Persuaded them that once this tower is operational, there's no hope left for us. The fact that we still haven't obtained the Seed of Destruction doesn't help either. That can't be good. What's the bottom line? Unless we present them with proof of our success, the Colonel will receive clearance to nuke Astraya on the 6th of December. Nuke... Astraya? But... What the hell are they thinking? Is the Assembly okay with that? How can they let this happen? The Noah is coming. Our days are numbered. Nuking Astraya. How could they? I know how you feel about Harry on Myrna. Trust me when I say it didn't make things easier for us. This isn't about me. Listen, we've tried diplomacy. We've tried intimidation. We've tried to make them surrender by every means. Every time, the consort prevails. Our people are getting desperate. There's no way for me to call off the attack unless you shut down the operations here and get your hands on the Seed of Destruction. No backup, of course. We're on our own. And they want us to fail, so they can end this war quickly. By the 6th. This is bullshit, Lawson. I know. Call for extraction whenever you wish. I don't want you to die up there. I'd rather die on Harion than be complicit in... In this, I will bring home the damn seed of destruction. You do whatever you have to to prevent them from destroying Astraya. Do you hear me? Gotcha. Stay safe, Laura. 